O Lord, you have been our refuge throughout every generation. Before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world, you were God. Your God from everlasting to everlasting satisfies every morning with your mercy so that we may sing joyfully and rejoice all our days. Let us, your servants, see what you can do. Let our children see your glorious power. Let the kindness of the Lord our God be with us. Make us successful in everything we do. In Jesus' wonderful name, amen. Frank E. Frank e. Graf is the author of this song. He was a minister in the Methodist denomination and served some of its leading churches in the Philadelphia Conference. His sunny disposition was in spite of the severe testing experiences that he had to go through throughout his life. This song was born out of these testing experiences and he comes out still trusting in the love and care of Jesus. During the testing experience that led to this hymn, Frank E. Graf is reported to have turned to God's word found in 1 Peter 5 or 7 which states, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. It was after meditating upon this verse that he wrote the lyrics of this hymn. Does Jesus care when my heart is pained? Too deeply for mirth or song, as the burdens press and the cares distress and the way grows weary and long. Does Jesus care when my way is dark with a nameless dread and fear? As the daylight fades into deep night shades, does he care enough to be near? Does Jesus care when I've tried and failed? To resist some temptation strong, when for my deep grief there is no relief, though my tears flow all the night, night long. Does Jesus care when I've said goodbye to the dearest on earth to me, and my sad heart aches till it nearly breaks? Is it all to him? Does he care? Then the chorus says, Oh, yes. He cares. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grief. When the days are weary, the long nights dreary, I know my Savior cares. It is an excellent hymn for the sick, the bereaved and those who have lost hope through hardship. This song many times is used as a hymn or song for a funeral. The Samaritan woman at the well, does Jesus really care? He had to go through Samaria. The Jews never wanted to go through Samaria. But there was this one woman Jesus had an appointment with and he changed her complete life. The cleansing of the lepers. Does Jesus care? Yes, he does care. He changed their lives and cleansed them. The woman with the issue of blood for 12 long years, when she came from behind and touched the hem of his garment, Jesus stopped because he cares and he changed her life. But Emmaus, when he was crying out, a blind beggar, Jesus stopped in his tracks and Jesus opened the eyes of that man. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15 and 16 says, for we, not, we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. On the way to the cross, Jesus stopped and he said to the woman, Daughters of Jerusalem, weep not for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. On the cross, suffering pain, 
and humiliation. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. To John he says, there is your mother. To Mary, there is your son. To the dying sea thief, today shall you shall be with me in paradise. After the resurrection, when Peter failed Jesus terribly and denied him three times, he said to the woman, go and tell my disciples and Peter. Does Jesus care? Yes, in your life and mine. Ten trillion times, yes, Jesus cares. Somebody came along and wrote a song and changed some of the words for the elderly. And it goes like this. Jesus loves me. This I know. Though my hair is white as snow, though my sight is growing dim, still he bids me trust in him. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. For the Bible tells me though so. Though my steps are oh so slow, with my hand in his, I'll go. On through life, let come what may, he'll be there to lead the way. When the nights are dark and long, in my heart he puts a song, telling me in words so clear, have no fear, for I am near. When my work on earth is done and life's victories have been won, he will take me home above. Then I'll understand his love. Yes, Jesus not only cares, he loves me. He wants to walk this way with me. We're only going through this life to our eternal home with him. And so, Lord, this morning, we want to thank you, bless you and praise you that you do care. In times when we are too weak, you pick us up and you carry us through. There is none like you, Lord. And we are so grateful that in times of trouble, when it's uphill or downhill, when it's going well or where there's tears running out our eyes, you are always there for us. You care and you love us. And so we thank you, Lord. With that in mind, we can face today and we can face tomorrow because we know we've got a wonderful, great Savior, a God who cares about each and every one of us. I pray that you'll go with us in this day. Lord, so many things we've planned, but Lord, you can push our plans out the way and may your will be done in each and every one of our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen.